Greetings, you amazing people, and welcome back. CDS here, bringing you part five, I believe, of my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. Thank you guys for joining me again today, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Anyway, so, Pika Hex, once again, after every goddamn video, it seems, at this point. I went ahead and got my Ralts for my final team member for Gardevoir, max special attack and speed. Uh, current move set, with the exception of Grass Knot, is final. Uh, Grass Knot might be replaced with something later down the line, I'm not sure yet. Oh, excuse me. Also decided to just put Roserade in the party. Uh, same thing as, uh, Rolf, so max special attack and speed. I did alter the egg so that when it hatches, it will have what I want, hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't break the game if I do that. Uh, going back to the PC, I think I did some altering here as well. I turned Bidoof into Bibberol so that it's easier for me to use the Water HMs when I get them on it. And of course I took the male Guard of uh, Rolls that I caught and I turned it into a Gallade, just in case I want to switch things up, switch out Guard of War for whatever reason, and add a physical attacker to my increasingly larger list of special speakers. So, now that we have gotten introductory shit out of the way, now let's head to take care of some other business. Uh, another thing, actually, I can do real quick. I'm going to grab an EV. Uh, there's an EV in the uh, house directly next to the Pokemon Center. This is not something that is in Diamond and Pearl. This is only in Platinum. Uh, that's only temporarily. I'm putting uh, Story View out. But in Pokemon Platinum, as soon as you get to Harham City, you can go to this house on the right here. Talk to this girl. Hiya! Oh, you're a trainer. That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? Oh, right, sorry. There I go, running my mouth again. My name's Beatty. Or BB. BB? BB. You know the PC Pokemon boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Yes. Here you go. That Eevee, I got it from a good friend in Johto who, ha who has a whole lot of them. Who knows how many Eevee he's raised over the years. There needs to be a plural on that, thank you. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please, be good to it. I accepted the Eevee with open arms. Oh, I forgot to give my fucking Pokemon nicknames when I was doing pika earlier. I'll do that at the end of this video. Uh, after I'm done recording this one, I'll do the nicknames. Oh, I actually got lucky with a female Eevee on the first try. I didn't even need to soft reset for her. The Eevee will obviously have different uh, nature and gender, depending on R and Jesus. Uh, Eevee will be evolving into a Flareon later, since there are so few fire types in this game. I will turn it into a Flareon at some point later on the road. For the moment, however, we have other things to attend to. Uh, I do believe I actually have to face the gym this video. But first, I think I have to go to the frickin' contest hall. So let's head our, head our happy Patookuses over to the contest hall. It's over here. Here... Kira. Oh, my hero! Um, you're talking to my mother, calling me your hero. Are we implying something here? I hope so. <laughs> oh, hi, Kevin. Wait. No, really? Joanna's your mom? Oh, that's her name! I completely forgot her name was Joanna. So you might be a contest star. Uh, maybe? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Kevin about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. Glitter powder. All I can think about is, like, silvery sparkles to throw on somebody's face. It'll lend you a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. That's not how you spell glamour, I don't think. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. That sounds weird. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see ya. Were you surprised to see me here? Yeah. I got bored, so I came out to Heart Home for a little vacation. There needs to be air quotes on that, to be honest. I'm just surprised to see you here, my dear. Are you serious about entering contests? Not dressed that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. What's wrong with my outfit, Mom? You picked it out. <laughs> Put this on for a little glamour. Oh my god, I have a fucking tuxedo. I'm gonna look so handsome. I'm sure it'll look good on you. After all, I chose it. Well, gee, pat yourself on the back more, Mom. 
Go enjoy the contest, Sonny. The contest will give you a different look at how many charms of, at the many charms of Pokemon. Should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Run around. Disappear. All right. You are what I came in here for, though. Yes. I beg your pardon. Ah, we. Oui. Contest you are... I can't do a French accent. I'm sorry. Contest you are here for. Contest you are here for? I hope very much you enjoy them. That sounds like backward English. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Heart Home, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, tres fantasy? My, my friend, one of my friends uh, lives in Canada. She'd be much better at reading this than I would be. Fantina beating myself, of course. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be tres strong. And fin, so it shall be. I wait for you at the gym. That sounded more German than French, but whatever. I can't do French accent. I can do German, Irish, Scottish, Italian. I can't do Ger I can't do French. That's just that's just not one of my strong suits. All right. So in this gym battle, Luxray Luxio is probably going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Give me a sec. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh. Sorry, guys. Give me one second here. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, I need some water. It's like I burped. Like an air bubble came up from the back of my throat and put something through the back of my nose. <coughs> my nose. Mm. That's what I get for drinking soda at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. Whew. Sorry. <coughs> I probably should have paused the video here, but whatever. Okay. Whew. Well, I avoided vomiting, so that's good. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. You'd think that our mom would have packed us a flashlight. Find the one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door tile with the same mark on it. Advance through the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. If you choose a wrong door, he gets sent back here, though. That's how this place is. Go get him, champ to be. It doesn't really help when I'm playing on the emulator. Because... As you can see, the dark room is not rendered properly. Like, the shadows, for some reason in the DS emulator, they're not rendered the same way as they are on the DS. So, it doesn't really work. So I can see my way through, regardless. Yeah, Luxio, though, is going to be doing some heavy lifting for this gym. I'm not even going to bother not fighting the trainers. I might as well, since I'm here. I was had to check my phone, and my phone just beeped. Alright. I reckon I could probably use Gardevoir a bit. Or Ralts, rather. You know, that's why I'm going to nickname them. I keep calling them the wrong Pokemon. I always refer to them by their final stage evolution rather than their current stage. Surprise attack! Why is there a fucking six-year-old in here? That is something that's always kind of confused me about Pokemon. They claim that you're not allowed to have a Pokemon until you reach the age of ten. But I've seen plenty of toddlers in the series with frickin' Pokemon. So, is it you can only get a starter Pokemon when you turn ten years old? Or is that rule just absolutely bullshit? I'm going to go with the rule is absolutely bullshit. Alright. Now, unfortunately, since this is Generation 4, Ralts is not a psychic fairy type, since fairy types don't exist yet. So, Ralts is going to be susceptible to damage from dark type moves. However, still being a psychic type, poison types should be easy pickings. Or, you know, I could get cursed and almost die. I'm actually going to swap out manually here. 
God, that beeping is not at all annoying. Staravia. Yeah, your Shadow Ball can't do shit to a fucking normal type. That'll level up both of my girls. I'll keep match. I'll keep a uh, Grass Knot for now. There we go. Alright, so let me go and get Full Restore on Makurlia. She should be strong enough to accomplish greatness now. Haunter. No. Die. Mr. Evis. That thing can hurt me. Shadow Ball. Or, you know, it could just spam Spite instead. That works too. I don't want Magical Leaf. That's why I kept Grass Knot. Grass Knot's not quite as useful against some Pokemon that Magical Leaf is better for, but the fact that Grass Knot can vary in power is actually kind of a good thing. It's not stuck with one level of power. Where's the blue sign? Right there. Okay, so I gotta go through the sun-shaped door, and back to Fantina! Oh ho ho! Finally you have arrived! Bitch, I saw you five minutes ago. Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in this city? I say to myself, and fiend, I will accept. That is why I dress this way. C'est un... C'est une performance. God, I, I really gotta show my friend this video so that she can understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. Yeah, she clearly is not speaking clear English. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no? It's the, the French accent's just one of those things I can't do. Ah, shit. I meant to hit fucking... There we go. Miss Magius. Miss Magius. Roserade. This is probably a dumb idea. But let's try it anyway. Oh, great. I'm confused. Wonderful. Oh, great. I almost died in one hit. Equally wonderful. Fuck it. It's going to sack Roserade. Stara... I don't know what I was going to say Staraptor for, but whatever. Night Slash dead. Alrighty. Haunter. Primplup needs some action. Lexio's getting too strong. There we go. That's a little improvement here. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon. So strong. Your power is admirable. That admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. The Relic Badge. The badge will let you use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can use this... Make use of this TM. That is what I think. And it is the... Ow! Oof! You'd think that Fantina would have Shadow Ball, but no, she has Shadow Claw. Really not helpful at this stage in the game. I'm not even gonna bother healing, I'm just gonna fucking... Like, I'm not even gonna bother using Pokemon Center, I'm just gonna heal everybody. Max Revive. There. Max Elixirs. Yay. 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 And yay. Okay. That'll do. And out of the building we go. Alright, so I think that's three gems under our belt now. Heart Home in the Diamond and Pearl games were actually one of the later gems you take on. You come to Heart Home in the same order that you do in Platinum, but you face the gym much later. Which, when I first played Diamond and Pearl, which I played after Platinum, always confused me. I didn't quite understand why that was the case. Oh, God damn it, Roy, what do you want? <laughs> Alright, Thunderbolt, dead. Yay! Alright, Weasel? I can take it out with Thunderbolt. Die. And he's got Grottle. Roserade! <laughs> Show this meek bastard your powerful sludge bombs. Wow. It died from poison touch. Or from poison point. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Committed now. Goodbye. It's funny that, like, because fire types are so rare in the, in the uh, fourth generation games... Since, obviously, in Diamond and Pearl, you can only use Ponyta and Infernape. And in Platinum, they only added two more in the forms of Flareon and Magmortar. 
I actually grew to have a very strong liking for Rapidash as a result. I didn't really care for Rapidash before Generation 4, or more specifically before some of my later playthroughs of Generation 4. Some of my early runs of Gen 4, I didn't really care much about it, but as I went through the game, like my third or so time of playing Platinum, yes, I've played Platinum too many times, but about my third or so run of Platinum is when I started uh, really using really using it, and I garnered a pretty healthy appreciation for just how good Rapidash can be in this game. Having a physical fighter type in general is a pretty good, pretty good deal. Okay, do I want to see what's over here? Bibberol. Let's kill it for the sake of experience. Wow, that gave me nothing even with Lucky Egg. Alright, Roselia. Oh yeah, I forgot. I actually, I didn't evolve Roselia, Ro Badoo into Roserit into Roselia in the game. I did it with Pika Hex, so. Oopsie poopsie. Oh, Duskull. I forgot. You can catch Duskull here at night. I've actually never caught Duskull on this game. I've gotten Duskull from, uh... I've got Dusclops. But I don't think I've caught Duskull for almost a decade now. Actually, like, seven years, maybe? Was the last time I bothered catching Duskull? Okay. I'll just chuck a Master Ball at this fucker. I know I already have Rose Raid, but I didn't have Roselia in the fucking thing, so. I don't know what else is there. Do you give me a rod? You don't give me a rod, right? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. I know I didn't get the old rod, but there's really no point to getting the old rod in general. Also, there's not really any point in getting the good rod. Super Rod is really the only one you need. Okay. This is the one thing that I don't like about... Like, the mandatory battles is when it's a mandatory double battle. I can handle it when it's a mandatory single battle, but when it's a double battle, it's just kind of irritating. I think I still have Hidden Power Fighting on Primplup now. So, Mind Junior's dead, and Primplup will kick out. Yep, I have Hidden Power Fighting. Okay. I'm going to have to replace Signal Beam with Flash Cannon when I get uh, Primplup to evolve. I wonder what I should name them, though. I do want to name them, but I just don't know what yet. We just have a bunch of fucking Pokemon just to die from my fucking Curlia's incredibly powerful Psychic Prowess. Fine by me. I don't use Calm Mind because I don't use status moves. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's an Ether. Well, I already have elixirs, max elixirs, like 900 of them, so. Oh, uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Forgot. This is the one also thing I don't like. It kind of forces you to go through here on your bike, which is a little annoying. I'm also, like, just kind of a random tangent. I'm really happy that I can, like, run this game at such a fast frame rate with pretty graphics. Because this is not how Platinum usually looks. I put a graphics filter on the game that makes the game look a lot smoother than it normally is. Also, we're coming in here because I actually have to get a, the fucking Defog HM. So we'll grab that and head out. And then I'll head just a little bit more north and I think we'll call it a video. Motham, one of the very, very underappreciated, pretty decent bug types. It's one of those few bug types that actually has a great attack and special attack stat. Of, uh, well, not great, but definitely good for a, uh, a weak bug flying type. Worm Adam overshadows Motham to an absurd degree simply because of the fact that it's, uh... Unlike, Mo unlike uh, Motham, it's not stuck with the extremely common poison or uh, flying bug type. It's actually got... Uh, four different, three different unique type combinations. Bug and Grass, Bug and Steel, and Bug and Ground. Which are all really, well, Bug and Grass not so much. I think it was the first Bug, no, Parasite was the first Bug Grass type, stupid. Well, the point is, is that it's, it has a unique type combination in Bug and Ground. Only Ninkata had that before. However, I can never freaking remember what the type of what freaking what's his name's type is? I can never remember what Burmese type is. I think it's just pure bug or bug grass or some shit. I don't remember if it coincides with the typing of the Wormatum form that it evolves into. 
Crap, I should have not done that. I might actually get a Gardevoir by next video. i just surf it up. Oh, great. I'm going to kill my own fucking Curlia. Thank you. Oh, and I missed anyway. Great. That's wonderful. Oh, fuck you both. I hate you. What the hell? Okay. Alright, whatever. Sludge Bomb died. Screw you, you damn pony toss. Alright, well, it's a good thing I don't do Nuzlocks. Although I may do a Nuzlocke at some point in the future, I don't know. I'd just leave that up to you guys if you want to see it. I never do it, though. Also, apparently that's where you can get the return TM machine. I didn't actually know that. Okay. So do you? No? No? Who gives me... Oh, no. You late... Okay. My bad. You don't get defog in here. You get defog in the unknown cave to the right of Silesian Town. I completely forgot about that. Which basically means I came in here for absolutely no reason. Well, I guess I killed another video, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was going to take me longer to get the Defog TM in Silesian Town anyway. So, Well, the Defog HM. Alright, let's just get out of here and get to Silesian. Well, anywho. Hold on. Wait. I actually don't want to fight you guys. Thank you. Alright, what? God damn it, you fucker! Get away from me! Go away! Leave me alone! I don't like you! I hate you! Go away! Bye! Okay, seals, hidden machine, defog, battle against blah blah blah, leave me alone. Okay. So I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, ladies and germs, and I hope you guys certainly enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like to let me know that you guys like this content. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making you fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next one.